In this video, we're going to be looking at the limit of a recurrence relation. And we're going to be working with this example. UN plus 1 is UN over 5 plus 2. So what I want you to do is I want you to get your calculator at the ready. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a starting value. Let's just pick one at random. Uh, let's try 10. Okay? So U1 is 10. So in your calculator, if you put 10 and then equals, what that's going to do is it's going to put 10 into its memory bank as the previous answer. And now do the answer key divided by 5 plus 2. So answer divided by 5 plus 2. Answer key divided by 5 plus 2 and press equals. And you should get 4. Press equals again, and you should get 14 over 5. Press equals again, and you should get 64 over 25. Okay? And then keep pressing equals, okay? And you should find that what happens is that I've gone a few times, I've done, I've now got to 2.5000000031. And I keep pressing equals, and you can see that eventually, it gets to an answer that is 5 halves, so 2.5. Okay, and so, that's, so that's starting at 10. Let's choose um, another number to start at. Let's choose um, 162, just off the top of my head. Okay, let's do the same thing. So now put 162 into your calculator, press equals, and then do the answer key divided by 5 plus 2. Okay, press equals. U2 is 172 over 5. Press equals again. U3 is 222 over 25. Then U4 is 472 over 125. Okay, and keep pressing equals. And you should find that actually, if I keep pressing equals for long enough, I get down to... 5 halves again, 2.5. So this is strange, the fact that I'm starting at different values, but I'm actually limiting towards the same value. So there must be a way of being able to determine what that value is going to be. And there is, and we've already met it. We met it for generating the constant sequence, because it turns out that if um, you put in 5 halves, as your starting value, you're going to get 5 halves and 5 halves and 5 halves and 5 halves as your sequence. So the concept is that the number I'm putting into the sequence should be the same as the number I'm getting out. And that is why I used L as the letter to replace UN and UN plus 1 from before. It is the limit of the sequence. So this is the equation I want to solve. I multiply both sides by 5, I take L from both sides, divide both sides by 4, and I get 5 halves, 2.5. So this little bit of algebra can determine for you the limit of the sequence in question. And as you can see, from just using different starting values, I should arrive at 2.5. I just want to make a note that this doesn't work for all recurrence relations, um, so be wary of that, but for those that it does, it's quite nice to see that both the algebra and what the calculator is saying agree.